As a sophomore in high school, I wanted to join something, to get out of the house. So on a whim, I joined my first robotics team, the Trinity Tritons, team number 4215. Robotics is a student-run, professional organization made up of a build, a programming, and a business team. The year I joined, they were in desperate need of a new website. I randomly stepped up and built it from scratch. Here, my love for research, communication, and community began because I was discussing with the entire team our goals and plans for each week to publish on our webpage. It sparked a passion for frustration in that learning came, but research wasn't easy. I was proud of myself for joining an organization so out of my comfort zone and actually I loved it. But when some team members started to try and change me into an introverted, simple-minded member, I was dumbfounded. I've never met someone who actively wanted to change who I was. They couldn't respect my ideas or newfound knowledge because I delivered it in a way they didn't accept. In response, I wanted to end my time on robotics, even though it introduced me to a new passion. Luckily, the head mentor for the team personally asked me to rejoin the Tritons. I nervously talked with him about the inequality on the team. He gave me hope by aiding me in addressing the issue. I discussed with some members about the issues. They came to realize that it was not fair to discount my ideas and that I was an asset to the team. And it took time, but they eventually treated me as equals, even as a leader. I needed that challenge in order for me to find my true voice. This voice led me to become not only website designer, but also social media head, scouting lead, strategy co-lead, and even the drive team coach. I was able to express myself and demonstrate that professionalism isn't always serious. Later that season, I was honored to be named the next captain of the Tritons. As a senior captain, my main focus was to make robotics not only intellectually stimulating, but socially. The community I wanted to build, that I wish I walked into two years ago, contained a freedom to discover. An open environment to be who you are and do what you love. To enable this new tone in the team, I hosted gatherings, encouraged others to branch out, but most importantly, I tried to show my team the beauty of being yourself. Robotics showed me that we shouldn't leave an injustice. We have an obligation to address it. This team has given me the confidence to learn new things, but more importantly has given me the confidence to own my voice.